Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G, and today we get an inside look into the GDs. GD 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 I don't know how Tommy got in touch with these dudes, but I don't do it. <laughs> he missing an eye. That's tough. Tommy didn't interview every game in America. He didn't interview every mobster. I ain't begin to touch with these people, bro. He gotta know somebody. This crew beef with a group called the Black Disciples, a squad led by a man named David Barkston. After a five, yeah, if you don't know all this, do your homework, man. And under the leadership of I should watch that King Von documentary too. It's like four hours, but that's like one of the best documentaries I didn't watch. I mean, it's really a serial killer. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. this is the story of the GDs in short, narrated by Tommy G, but I'm talking over it. If you don't want to hear me talk over it, go watch Tommy G's video. <laughs> I might link it if I remember to. Are a criminal enterprise involved in racketeering, the sale of narcotics, and violent activities. I head to Kansas City, Missouri to attend a regional cookout of the Gangster Disciples and tap in with rapper Young Blue as my guide for this journey. Let's hit the street. Uh, okay, so that's how you got in touch with him because he's in a yeah, rapper. He know all the rappers. <laughs> young Blue? Isn't there two Young Blues? Was Talking to folks. It's like Blue, B L E U. Part of the organization, what they stand for, what they're. He got a song with uh, Will and Drake or something. Is part of a gang or wants to be part of a gang, and gang has a bad connotation. Everyone wants belonging. They want tribe. They want brotherhood. Different people have different ways of building that. I had a big sense of that with my wrestling team in high school and college. I think it's lonely being a man in this world right now. Like when you're a grown ass man, you graduate from high school or college, like your community shrinks. And I think being a man. It's all facts, bro. Hey, if you in school right now, bro, enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it for sure. Because you ain't be able to see your friends every day no more. You ain't going to see all them people you were seeing every day. Once he hit like, and maybe like college, maybe. But after college, it's really GD. That's when you really like on your own, bro. No cap. That's when you really on your own with after college, bro. So enjoy it while you can. And how people fight against that. So we're going to meet with a Kansas City chapter of the Gainshire Disciple. The GD's in Kansas, though? It might be all over the, the country at this point, y'all. Get a feel for them. No, it started in Chicago, though. Go to the big organization meeting. We'll see you there. Folks, we are at an undisclosed location in Kansas City, Missouri. And fellas, what are we doing today? Man, we taking them behind the scenes, man. We with the Gangster Disciples today, man. Growth and Development Fracture King. Bro, what's that other rapper's name? His, his name Blue, too, bro. But he, he's something else. Wait, should we invite you to the barbecue? Yeah, man, you invited to the barbecue. <laughs> ah, snap. <laughs> Would y'all invite Tommy to, to y'all cookout? Would y'all invite Tommy to the cookout? Huh, I think I will. I, I, think, I think Tommy cool, man. He cool, he cool, he... I don't know, but the question is, are white people inviting us to their cookout? That's the real question. <laughs> because we invite them to the cookout, but they don't ever want us at the cookout. So why are we inviting them? You feel me? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. People around the country coming in, around the region, Man, like what's going a, on? We got a couple of different cities within Missouri coming. So we got St. Louis, we got a couple of our guys from Springfield, a couple of our little brothers from uh, Warrensburg, Missouri. We got some guys from Charleston, you know what I'm saying? They Man, and and niggas across the country. Damn. Damn. You did. Okay, and you guys are about to go to a meeting that we're not allowed to attend? Yes, most definitely. What the hell is that about? Why can't I come? Man, it's confidential information. Confidential. <laughs> you don't have to give any class. A meeting that what? A general theme you guys are covering today. We'll discuss that. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. They got a game meeting. <laughs> they what? Secret information that only members. Have. These these the mobsters. So question: Are you guys looking for additional members? And also, would you let white boys from Milwaukee join? <laughs> no extra members, and no. <laughs> These fellas are gonna take care of business. No extra members. That's cap, dude. It'd be, it'd be niggas that be twelve saying they GD. No sir, no sir. That's it. Maybe eleven years old trying to game. What? You know, sit down somewhere. All right. 
Moment of truth. They got done with their secret meeting. They summoned us. They said we can come by. So here we go. GDs, Gangster Disciples. Let's talk about <laughs> secret meeting is crazy though. Games. But it must be Freemasons. <laughs> what does that make you think? Gang can be anything in a group of people. Maybe violence. Well, usually it's gang violence. You usually think about that. Probably California. I mean, with all like your Hell's Angels, Bloods, Crips, stuff like that. Gangs to me is a group of people. California do got hello gangs, bro. They got white gangs, black gangs. They got Hispanic. They got every mix of gangs. <laughs> yeah. All of them try to press you. I've heard the name, but I don't know. Off a hat. If you want to ask those hats, GGs for you. Hey man, I'm gonna go join a gang. What would you think? I don't. I tell them no. Yeah. But I'd ask them, well, what gang? Because I mean, do you have a chess club gang? I probably wouldn't be too happy with him. I would hope that he wouldn't be leading down that path where he, he felt he had to be in a gang like that. We're about to go to a barbecue with a bunch of gangster disciples. Any advice you got for me? <laughs> I don't know. You know, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Show him respect. And he Is that a cop or like a firefighter? How do you think? Yeah, tell about his fit. Respect. <laughs> You look comfortable. <laughs> y'all brothers enjoy y'all day. day. We're debuting a beautiful shirt today. <laughs> Big dogs gotta eat. It was designed by... Hey, Tommy's merch be going crazy, though. I like, I like his merch. Hey, I'm pulling out all the stops to give you guys good shit. So, if you want to join my game, Big Dogs Gotta Eat, TommyGMiggy.com. I'll see you guys there. We got blue. We got black. Rock the gang. It's us versus mainstream. His merch be fire, though. GD-Fo! GD-Fo! D-Sipo! D-Sipo! Man, with the guys, man. Where are we right now? We in Swope, man. We in Kansas City, Missouri, man. Posted at Swope Park. Swope. The guys, man. Y'all know what's going on. And what's what's happening here? We got barbecue. We got cookout. Swope yeah, Park. Cookout with the guys. You know what I'm saying? The membership. We just here politics and fellowship, and you know what I'm saying? Building camaraderie with the guys. Man. <laughs> what made you join this organization? I wanted to be a part of something that was gonna be productive. I started this organization when I was a young man, and I saw the guys getting together with the younger people, really kept them out of trouble. He talking about he started the GDs? What organization? What organization he talk about? It's happened like 15. I'm 46 years old. And what are the biggest benefits you've gotten from being in the GDs? It taught me how to be a man. Yeah. It taught me how to For real? family. Principles that we stand on. <laughs> but this nigga look like he, he like. <laughs> look at how he's looking at him. It taught me how to be a man. He like, what the fuck? Taught you how to do what? It's like, nah. It me Let me chill on him. Principles that we stand on that conducive to the celebration of any man, mm -hmm. any neighborhood. Any organization. Matter of fact, I got two of my sons here with yep. me today. They are part of this organization. Yep. And as a father, I wouldn't put them in nothing that would be harmful to them. So what does it mean to be a man? So being a GD is not harmful. What is he talking about? Anymore, you know what I mean? like, they must not be like real like, GD feeling. Like, what? What you mean? Not harmful. What you believe and standing firm on it. You know what I'm saying? Not letting anybody change your mind. You did about how you feel about what you feel about. I was being a gang member, not harmful. I'm, like, I'm still stuck in it. Like, what? Said, you know, it's a lifestyle. It's how we move. It's how we walk. It's how we talk. Mm -hmm. It's how we conduct ourselves. So I'm curious about the symbols. What is what does this mean? Man, that's the Star of David, man. You know what I'm saying? That means love, life, loyalty, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Is that a Jewish thing? Man, it's a GD thing. GD thing? Yeah. Okay. What? They just took. <laughs> I guess they're taking cultures now, like. So we're the same star. Yeah, most yeah. So we we talked to a couple of people, like citizens, and I asked them, "What do you think about the word gang or organization?" And a lot of people. He said, "Nah, it's GD thing." I guess. I think that is. Like, what? Man, when you say gang, that's some treacherous. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? That's why when you ask us, "Oh, what are you? Are you in the gang?" Nah, yeah. we correct you with the organization. Organization. Term. You know what I'm saying? It sounds more friendly too. Yeah, you dig? On, on the it's really organization. You could argue that McDonald's <laughs> is a hamburger cartel. Mm -hmm. You know, pass, make America fat. Yep. You could say that big. Pharma yeah. is a drug gang organization. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys agree with those? I don't, I don't agree with that. I guess it's all just like what? Think about yeah, it. it depends on the uh, point of view of how you coming with it. You feel me? That's why it's different words because they mean different things. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, like, another thing, what you do as an individual reflect on the whole organization. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. So we hold you accountable for that, at, like the most. So I feel like that's a big piece that's missing from a lot of places I visited is accountability. Like it's kind of like young guns <laughs> running wild. Yeah, yeah, I'm God. No, no, no. That's a gang. Don't nobody care, bro. Everybody's organized. Everybody doing their own thing. Yeah. We're not a gang. Cause we're all organized. So all right, I feel him. I feel him. Like, what can is it? You in trouble or what makes you like stealing, raping? Yeah. We don't, we don't do none of that. And then you want me to teach you one thing while you out here? Let's do it. Let's do it. If what you know is about everybody's shoes out here. Ain't nobody wearing Crocs. Well. 
can't do that. What? What you? Oh yeah, you breach the security right now. Well, if somebody wanna fight you right now, and then you got on knees. You gonna slip up out of it? Nah, Tommy know how to fight. He probably be some. He probably beat one of these niggas ass. He probably slam one of these niggas. If it's in sports mode, you might get away. I already know he be taking like Taekwondo or something. I already know he one of those. Okay, so I made my first violation. He said, "You see everybody choose out here." He said, "Work crocs." So that's another thing is I've heard like a lot of negativity about like nine to five jobs. Like a lot of people hate on that shit. What you know do you why? think about that? You, look, let me tell you something. Let me. I'm gonna tell you some real stuff, bro. I'm gonna keep it 100. I used to be like that. I used to be thinking, oh, the lame niggas is the one with nine to fives until I went to prison, bro. I did ten years, bro, wasting my time. Didn't see my daughter, none of that. Nah, no, I was the lame, bro, because I'm just sitting here with my daughter getting raised outside by somebody else, bro. Mm -hmm. That's it's, facts. It's pointless, bro. Mm. You know, input and the input on that. You say why people don't want to work nine to five? Yeah. Because at the same time, patience and discipline is key. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got patience or discipline, you can't. You ain't nothing. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to want to go work that nine to five to provide for you. Hey, bro, this is all facts, bro. All facts, bro. This is not just for working nine to five either. That's for like everything in life, bro. Patience and discipline can get you through a lot of stuff. Now, ninety nine percent of things, those two things can get you through it, bro. I promise. That stuff I'm working on too, bro. 100%, bro. He's speaking facts. Hey, hit, hit me in the head. This is, this is a good GD. This is a good organization right here. Okay. W organization. You know what I'm saying? Even if you want to look out for people at a homeless, you know what I'm saying? You will, you will walk past somebody that ain't doing as well as you, you feel me? You got money in your pocket, you might give it to them because they need it more than you. You feel me? It's all about discipline and patience. A lot of people, bro, don't understand slow money, bro, but slow money is the good money. Because fast money going to get you gone, bro, because you're going to spend yeah. it just as fast as you get it. What is the organization's stance on fatherhood? I've noticed a few guys talk about the importance of that. If you lacking in your child life, man, this ain't the good organization for you because we're going to hold you accountable for that. Because, you know what I'm saying, this organization yeah. produce positive, productive people. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't taking care of your priorities, man, this ain't for you, for real. Well, say, my brothers can't protect their own children, how you can protect your own brother? So, how has being in this organization impacted your life? Man, you know, let me tell you something, bro. Before I was GD, let me tell you something. I probably run around, bro, act crazy, breaking people's houses, stealing cars, all that. But let me tell you something, bro. My dad, he's not GD. He's not. He's Crip. Mm-hmm. It's a difference, bro. Let me tell you something. GD show you how to be a man, bro. It show you how to, you got to stand on principles and laws. Because a lot of people, bro, that's why they don't want to be GD. That's why they want to be in other games. Because you can't stand on. So they like, they trying to go by like the original, original GD. Not like what niggas turned it into in the future. You feel me? Because when GD first came out, that's what they was trying to do. They were just trying to just come together for real, for real. But it turned into violence and all the other stuff, you know, that come with games. I came a long way from shaving rocks and pushing corners. There ain't no bars in a minute. They say my rhymes was over. Ain't no stopping me. Nigga being patient just made them potent. Had to cater to my family, but I think I cooked that over. Had to work up on myself to get my demons back in order. Kept my dreams for little things. Reality was getting harder for bagging checks. We worked to death. Trying to feed our sons and daughters in this honor On the boss to be a motherfucking father. If I die, I'll be a stain up on that block. It's getting harder. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's his name? Uh, Lupe Fiasco. Lt Pe Fiasco. Oh no. Let's dive into some of the symbols and lingo used by the gangster disciples. One of their primary symbols is the six-sided star. This stands for the six principles of gangster disciples: life, loyalty, knowledge, understanding, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and love. They are also represented by the pitchfork, which symbolizes the struggle to overcome oppression. They frequently say seven foe, which stand for the seventh and fourth letter of the alphabet, GD. It's widely speculated that the initiation for the Gainster Disciples is to be <laughs> by other members. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, frequently he said fight back. Foe, which stand for the seventh and fourth letter of the alphabet, GD. It's <laughs> right there. He said fight back. <laughs> fight back. It <laughs> was beat on the ass. <laughs> jumped in that's hilarious to join this group this is not a commitment to be taken lightly what are some misconceptions someone might have hey these, these are real gds though these not it. the real yeah just misrepresentation gang yeah that's how they say right now gd this gd that 
And the people that are saying GD this, GD that. Ain't even GD. Not even GD. Yeah. Describe being a GD in three words. Being a gangster, a provider, being respectful. Love, life, and loyalty. And knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Man, growth, man, for real. First, you a man. You gotta be a that man got no eye back there, bro. I wonder what happened to his eye. You gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to that's the only thing that's on my head right now. Right. What happened to that man's eye? I can say that's why we don't allow people to just say they GD. Because yeah, right. you, you got people me earlier that I wasn't allowed to join today. They so said some crunks on. That usher in the back? <laughs> the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Is this usher? Thank you, Sorry. So what I want to ask you about is tell me about the history of the GDs. How do they come apart? How do they start? And where have they gone over the years? Oh man. Woo. The history. Okay. okay. <laughs> GDs involved was really started around the same time as the Black Panther Party movement and stuff like that. Yep. Where blacks were being victimized. It started off as a like a unity thing for, for protection of each other and turn it to gangs. So black gangs and organizations formed to protect the communities. Mm. That was the original intent of these organizations. Even CRIP. The acronym for CRIP is is uh, Community Revelation and Progress. Mm -hmm. The acronym for blood is Brotherly Love Overcome Robbers. Destruction. The, the original intent was to protect the community. Mm. But with all things, some people introduce a criminal element into it. Mm. Yeah. You know, like the feds infiltrated our neighborhoods, push cocaine into our neighborhoods, push guns and drugs into our neighborhood. And the, and the, they did all this. That's the, tough. The, the, original, the original vision becomes corrupted. You know? So, yes, Jews did have a dark history. This is all facts. Ronald Reagan did put that crack in, uh, that's tough. <laughs> They're known for being just crazy. That crack made niggas start making money. Through knowledge, mm -hmm. through teaching, mm -hmm. through made other niggas want money, and then yeah. it's we had tough. Places, we've had people that come from those from those very yep. cities that you're talking about. Some here right now, right, right now. <laughs> and when they get here, we they have to come and have an understanding. And listen, we're not about that. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be a part of a brotherhood that's going to help you accelerate your mind. And the way you live and, and change the way you're thinking because that's how it didn't have that hot dog and i burger on the plate for 80 years we ain't take one bite it depends man you know missouri got all type of weather so depending on how the weather it is we'll get out here and cater to the people that's out here that's homeless like say for instance if, if it's winter or something, uh, they out there feeding no homeless yeah they're not yeah. they're real gd you know what I'm saying? When it's hot, like, they feed no homeless they doing all types of stuff they yeah, trying to go crazy. I rock with it. Hygiene and stuff like that. Is that yeah. important, you guys? Oh yeah, hell yeah. For you sure. can't be a stinky GD. It don't work like that. You know what I'm mean? saying? Even if, even when we feed the homeless, man, we make sure they eat before we even eat. We don't, we don't eat. Ladies and gentlemen, this was an inside look at the GDs. I had a great time. Yeah. Thank you for having me. You already know it, brother. What kind of final thoughts or message do you have to the audience? Man, uh, man, growing, develop, man, struggle, breed greatness, man. Stay on your six, man, at all times, man. Keep it pushing. Don't let nobody. Hey, shout out, Young Blue, man. This, this is. I was not expecting this video to be like this. Man. <laughs> wow. You're part of an interesting I was not expecting this video. I thought there might be some Antifa, little, some little Antifa, rascals out there saying some nut stuff. But see what your life's about. Nah, it's always Enjoy completely different, though. It's a good vid, though. Alright, guys. Love you guys. See you next week. Hey, shout out Tommy. That was a W video.